Hello, my name is Charlie Haffey, and I am an elementary science teacher for the Norwood Public Schools. And the title of this video is The Home Star Finder. The home star is Polaris, the North Star. Ancient people knew that if you could find this star, you would notice that this is the star that appeared not to move all night long. All the other stars appeared to go around this star. They call it the home star because they know if you could find this star, you could always find your way home. Now we're going to be looking at our Big Dipper Finder, our home star finder today. And the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need one of these, a star wheel. And you're going to need one of these, which is the base that goes underneath the star wheel. And you're going to need one of these, which is a brass fastener, and it is going to hold the home star finder together. You want to get the star wheel, you want to cut it out. You want to get the base, and you want to cut it out, although you could just leave it. You don't really need to cut it out. What you could do is print it on cardstock. If you don't have that, just take the paper and glue stick it or scotch tape it to something a little more substantial like a piece of cardboard. I'm going to take my star wheel and put the brass fastener right through the hole that I have in the middle. Then I'm going to take the brass fastener with the star wheel and put it right through the base. Then I'm going to open up the brass fastener on the back and it's going to hold everything in place nicely. Then what you want to do is you want to take your calendar here, which is on the star wheel, and you want to turn it around until you can line it up in a general way with the time of night that's on the base. So let me do this. Let me go for December, the beginning of December, and I'm going to set it to about 8 o'clock. All right. Uh, actually, it'll be easier here. I have now the middle of December, indicated by that line going through December, and 8 o'clock is right where the line goes to the middle of that box. So here I have the middle of December lined up with 8 o'clock at night. Okay. Then what you want to do is you want to find north in a rough way. Now, we've done a bunch of ways to find north. The easiest way is to find the North Star, but we're using the North Star Finder, the Home Star Finder, so let's do another way. Um, what you could do is if you face the setting sun in a general way, the sun sets to the west. So if you're pointing right here at west, okay, stick out your right arm and your, that right arm will be pointing in a general way to the north. Okay? So then what you want to do is you want to hold up your Home Star Finder in front of you like this, like a mirror. Don't hold it down flat like it's on a table. Hold it up in front, okay? Like, you know, you're looking in a mirror. Then what you want to do is look to the north in a general way, and you want to hold this up. The neat thing is then, if you do that, you'll see that the Big Dipper is going to be low on the horizon in December. If you follow the pointer stars, you'll go right to Polaris, and you'll see the Little Dipper. The cool thing is then, if you go from the tail of the Big Dipper through Polaris, you come up here and you'll see what at this time of the year looks like an M. Now that's Cassiopeia. And Cassiopeia looks like an M or a W or a digital 3 or a backwards digital 3, depending on the time of year. Cassiopeia is the mother of Andromeda. And there is a whole story with Gorgons and heroes dealing with Cassiopeia and Andromeda. Here's the cool thing, though. What we're looking at when we look at these constellations here, uh, Ursa Major, all right, the Big Dipper is in, is in the Big Bear. Ursa Minor, uh, the Little Dipper is the Little Bear. And then Cassiopeia, M, W, whatever. Uh, if you watch this, all during the night, it's going to appear like these constellations all spin around Polaris. So we call these three constellations the Circumpolar constellations. Circum means to circle around, polar, Polaris. These constellations appear to go all the way around Polaris and come back to where they started from every single night. They're in the sky every night of the year, all night long. You 
you can see these three constellations, every night there's a clear sky out. So boys and girls, once you find these three stars and you found north again, then you know where north, south, east, and west is, and then you can start looking up at the night sky. My name is Charlie Haffey. I'm an elementary science teacher for the Norwood Public Schools.